And as always, I have placed a link in the description down below to this unit if you'd like to look at this system further or acquire one for yourself. I am Alex the Car Guy, and on this channel, I review cool car gadgets and other accessories that I find for car enthusiasts like yourself. So those are the kind of videos you like. Make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. And the main star of the show is the Godiak GT101 unit. And this is actually quite compact. When I compare this to my volmeter, it's actually a little bit smaller. Now it does have a 20 foot extension cord attached to it and that is because this probe is powered by the battery of our vehicle which is what enables this probe to do a lot of the testing that a normal voltmeter cannot do that easily. And this unit has an LED segment display which is quite interesting because normally we see LCD displays on here but LCD displays are prone to breaking especially when you are using this in a shop environment so having something very rugged in this example only uses LED segments means that this is going to be quite a bit resistant to abuse. And towards the front of the unit, we have dual LEDs right here. So it's like having a flashlight built in onto this unit. And we also have a little spot for the probe and the probe has a protective cover on here, which is helpful. So you don't go around poking yourself. Just put that back on like so. And as I mentioned earlier, the GT101 probe does not require any batteries in here. It is powered by the vehicle's battery. And that is done by connecting this plug right here to the set of alligator clips that they have included. But a really interesting feature of the GT101 that I have not seen in other power probes is the ability to test and clean fuel injectors. And what they've done is pretty clever. They have manufactured this fuel injector adapters so their fuel injector cleaner can be connected here and then a fuel injector can be inserted into here. Now we as mechanics have been doing that kind of making that on a home with little pieces of tubing and fabricating things and cleaning injectors that way here they have made it easier for those with these adapters and to activate the fuel injectors they have included this little extension this gets connected here and then either one of these ends can go to the fuel injector which we can then activate and then we can trigger the cleaning process or the testing process but using the same accessory plug they have included another feature that i have not seen either before which is the ability to test relay and the same deal will apply here. This gets connected and locked in place and now I can take this and connect each one of these leads to the end on the bottom of a relay and begin to test my relay in that way and be able to see if it clicks and works correctly or not. And finally they include this instruction manual which covers the functionality of the probe and the different advanced tests that it can do on our vehicle or on components. But now let's move over to the vehicle so we can do some demonstrations and test this unit out. And Here's the Godiak GT101 Power Probe. And as you can see, it is already connected to the vehicle with the two alligator clamps and the display is on. And the very first feature is gonna be simply the flashlight. <laughs> and as you can see, as I showed you earlier, here are the dual lights that can eliminate when we're working on the car. Feature number two is gonna be the voltmeter and that is this red LED display right here. Now this is gonna be great because instead of having two probes in a voltmeter setup, here we only have one probe so that frees up our hand and we can quickly check voltages. Perhaps I wanted to check the voltage of this battery. I can go ahead and connect that. And as you can see, we have 12.5 volts. Now also you heard a beep and you saw a red light. That indicates we are we have a positive voltage. So let's talk about feature number three. That is gonna be locating grounds. And that is gonna sound differently. Notice when I'm gonna touch the, the negative. Now we have a green light instead of a red light and the beeping is different. Again, just from comparison. So as you can see, this allows us to locate ground anywhere on the vehicle by just touching the surface very quickly. Now for demonstration purposes, let's imagine that this bolt was located all the way to the back of the vehicle. And if I were to probe that bolt and wanted to know if it was indeed grounded, yep, we do have the green LED and we have the slower beep indicating a good ground. And the fourth feature of this power probe is gonna be the ability to inject power into components. Now, why is this handy? Perhaps we have a tail light that is out on our vehicle, all the way to the back of our vehicle, and we don't know if it's the light bulb or if it's the wiring. Imagine this was still mounted and I'm able to access from behind and probe the light. With this, I can confirm if the light turns on, that means that the issue is with the wiring of a fuse. Or if the light does not turn on, it is possible that the light bulb is out. So I'm gonna demonstrate that by touching right here and I'm gonna push up to inject power 
and as you can see we are activating this light bulb also if you look at the bottom we can see that we have a readout of the voltage and we also have the amperage notice how it changes when i disconnect that zero amps and when i go and connect that we get a reading on how much amperage we're pulling and that is the fifth functionality of this tool an amp meter this little light bulb is pulling about two amps which again knowing how much a device pulls in terms of amps can allow us to know if there is an issue with it so not only can we power light bulbs we can power anything else such as a motor perhaps the window regulator on our car allowing us to confirm if it's the wiring or the component that has failed and the next feature of this probe is the ability to provide a ground connection so on the prior demonstration you saw me turn on this light bulb by providing a positive connection but what if the light bulb was connected to the positive side let's imagine that this was all the way to the back of the car and we suspect that it was a ground problem here i can simulate the ground and confirm i'm going to touch that right here and yep by providing a ground the light bulb turns on so that tells us that the wiring on the ground wiring to the light bulb all the way to the back of the car is what's faulty and the next function of the power probe is a continuity meter is there a break inside of this wire now this wire is relatively short but if this wire travel all the way to the back of our car there could potentially be a break in here somewhere and we're struggling to see if the wire is good or not so i'm going to connect the alligator clip from the power probe and i'm going to touch the other end if this lights up green like so and you get that nice little beep that means that there is continuity the wire is not broken as simple as this feature is it can be very very helpful in locating opens and the next feature of the gt 101 is the ability to find shorts directly from the fuse or relay panel now i will tell you be careful don't go injecting power into areas where you don't know because you may damage your vehicle you want to become familiar with the schematic and wiring diagrams of a car before you can start to find shorts now the way that this will work is once you're familiar with the diagram and you have found the fuse for the cell where you suspect that there is a short the fuse can be pulled out now the fuse has two contacts i would inject power by pressing up into the first contact and there is a circuit breaker in here if the circuit breaker in here trips that means that that side where i injected power is the side that has a short and then i can now follow the wire and locate that correctly but if it doesn't trip i still have one more side of the fuse which i can inject power from and if that side of the fuse contact trips the circuit breaker internally we know that's the side of the wire that i have to follow to locate the short once i have fixed the short i can reinstall the fuse and the circuit should work correctly at that point and probably one of the coolest features of the gt 101 is the ability to test relays relays for the most part you cannot really see visually if they are good or not so i have to remove it then i have to find a battery find some cables and kind of mickey mouse a way to connect to the relay to test it out the gt 101 addresses that by creating this interface that allows us to test relays now each of the wires in the gt101 power probe has been labeled with a number and a function and in the bottom of the relay they are the same numbers in there so all i have to do is match each number to each wire and connect it to the relay now that it is connected i can grab the power probe and i can start the relay test and as you can see i can hear it clicking that's first of all that's a good indication because that tells me that the relay is functioning also looking at the pc board in the bottom we have three lights that are on a blue a green and a red now this is important because this can tell us something about what's going on with the relay i'm going to stop the test this is a good relay all three lights were on and we heard the clicking let's imagine that the mechanism of the relay that turns on the actual circuit has failed let's see what that would look like there is no clicking because there's no electromagnetic force happening in there and as you can see we are now missing the green light it is only blue and red so that would indicate a bad relay but now let's imagine that the electromagnetic function of the relay still works but the contacts are closed to make the connection have failed so i'm going to unplug that one to simulate a contact that has worn out and i'm going to activate the relay and as we can see we can hear the relay activating so that means the magnetic portion of it is working 
but the contact is not closing because I disconnected it to simulate it. And again, we can see that we don't have all three lights. We only have blue and red indicating a bad relay. And that's how easy relay testing can be with the GT101. And that was the Godiak GT101, which in my opinion is a must have for any car technician. Whether you're doing this as a hobby or as a business, this style of probe is gonna save you a lot of time over a simple voltmeter. And it can do a lot more than that, just like I showed you in the demonstration. Now I do have a lot more videos coming up if you guys wanna learn about what is an open, what is a short, and how to use this tool to its full potential. So if you guys wanna see those videos, make sure you guys stay tuned by being subscribed to the channel. And remember, I placed a link on the description also to this tool if you wanna look at this further or acquire one for yourself. If you guys have any other questions regarding the GT101, please put that in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.